Attention, Steelers fans. We are at a decisive moment in the 40 Nears player negotiations. But that's not all. The great Steelers player is being criticized a lot, and you'll already know why. First, let's see the first news. The analyst made a big revelation. Brandon Ayuk. Are we about to fill the void left by Deontay Johnson? And if that wasn't enough to keep you hooked, just wait until we hear about Ben Roethlisberger's controversial legacy. Now leave your like and let's get to the video. NFL analyst Marcus Mosher of the 33rd team recently spotlighted the Pittsburgh Steelers as the front runner to potentially acquire San Francisco 49ers standout wide receiver Brandon Ayuk via trade. Mosher's analysis, detailed in a Thursday article, underscores the void left by Deontay Johnson, whom the Steelers traded away without securing a comparable replacement. Mosher pointed out, the Steelers drafted Roman Wilson in the third round, but he primarily fits the slot receiver role rather than that of an X receiver capable of breaking free from man coverage. Speculation about Ayuk's future with the Steelers has been brewing since before the NFL draft, driven by Ayuk's uncertain contract situation with the 49ers, where he is in the last year of his rookie deal and far from extending his stay. Ayuk hinted on the Pivot podcast that he could envision himself in Steelers or Washington Colors if he doesn't remain with the 49ers. However, Mosher noted potential reservations from the Steelers about trading a high draft pick for Ayuk and then meeting his salary expectations. He added, Pittsburgh has George Pickens, who showed improvement in his second year. Despite this, there are maturity concerns which might deter the Steelers from committing to him long term. Nevertheless, with the Steelers in a win-now mode under Mike Tomlin, who is eager for postseason success after a seven-year playoff victory drought, acquiring a player like Ayuk could be crucial. The article further speculates that while veteran quarterback Russell Wilson could potentially rejuvenate Pittsburgh's offense, the Steelers' immediate need to enhance their receiving core remains critical. Mosher also mentioned the Denver Broncos, Washington Commanders, New England Patriots, and New York Jets as potential suitors for Ayuk should he seek a trade and threaten to hold out. Despite the clear fit and need, Mosher questioned the likelihood of the 49ers parting with a crucial offensive weapon like Ayuk as they aim for a Super Bowl return, especially in exchange for future draft capital. While we debate whether Ayuk could be the missing piece to revitalize our offense alongside Russell Wilson, we can't ignore the controversies that continue to emerge around a Steelers legend. Ben Roethlisberger, always a polarizing figure, is back in the spotlight with recent criticism over his off-field behavior. Ben Roethlisberger, the former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback whose career included three Super Bowl appearances and two championships, continues to be a topic of conversation well into his retirement. The future Hall of Famer's tenure was not without controversy, especially in his later years, as the Steelers struggled to secure postseason victories from 2017 to 2021. Recently, the debate around Roethlisberger flared up again when Fox Sports commentator Nick Wright brought up Roethlisberger's behavior during his playing days. On the First Things First podcast, Wright criticized Roethlisberger for his actions, which he perceived as self-serving, especially during his weekly radio spots, which aired just before Coach Mike Tomlin's press conferences. Ben Roethlisberger seemed to crave the spotlight and sometimes at the expense of Team Harmony. On his radio show, he'd often drop controversial comments right before Tomlin's press conferences, forcing the coach to address these remarks spontaneously. Wright pointed out, This portrayal by Wright paints Roethlisberger as a figure who may have contributed to internal team conflicts by seeking attention. This commentary follows remarks from Plaxico Burris, Roethlisberger's former teammate, who recently criticized the Dallas Cowboys, drawing indirect comparisons to the Steelers. While Roethlisberger was known for his professionalism in handling media questions, even during turbulent times with teammates like Antonio Brown, Wright's harsh critique highlights a different perspective that suggests Roethlisberger's actions could have been a distraction. As discussions continue about the current state of the Cowboys, comparisons to Roethlisberger's time with the Steelers remind fans of the complexities of team dynamics and leadership. Steelers fans generally defend Roethlisberger, focusing more criticism on coach Mike Tomlin for the team's playoff failures, which some attribute to coaching decisions, and the belief that Tomlin initially succeeded with a team built by his predecessor, Bill Cowher. With Roethlisberger's retirement, these controversies might seem like relics of the past, yet they still influence perceptions of the Steelers' locker room culture under Tomlin, 
who recently secured a three-year contract extension. Whether Roethlisberger intentionally stirred discord is up for debate, but Wright's comments certainly rekindled discussions about the legendary quarterback's legacy and its impact on the Steelers. Whether exploring new talent or evaluating the impact of historical figures, the Steelers are always in the spotlight, showing that our passion for football goes far beyond the field. So, in his opinion, would Ayuk be the perfect complement to Pickens and Wilson? And how do you see Roethlisberger's legacy affecting our team culture today? Leave your comment below and don't forget to click to watch the next video that appears on your screen.